Ontario is the first jurisdiction in Canada, federally or provincially, to have this sort of ambitious commitment of legislative obligations across the wide public sector, not just the provincial government, we're talking municipal, hospitality in the private sector, transportation, communication. There's a group of Canadians who up until now have been uh, facing barriers, systemic barriers to enjoying the same human rights as other Canadians. The AODA uh, involves a series of uh, standards and regulations that are going to affect change at Ontario universities. Uh, the AODA covers uh, removing barriers in a number of areas, in about five key areas. So how we provide service to people with disabilities, how we uh, provide information and communication, employment, transportation, and how we build our buildings and our uh, public spaces. When I first started working in this field, um, I think people thought of accessibility as ramps for wheelchair users, uh, automatic door operators, very physical, tangible uh, accessibility initiatives. And we're now moving into areas that cover removing barriers to uh, students, employees, campus visitors who, who might have invisible disabilities, to making our websites accessible, to uh, providing our documents in various alternate formats. Section 16 uh, mandates that we begin to train our educators on accessible curriculum or program design so that we're creating inclusive uh, classroom and teaching spaces uh, at our universities. Here are some examples of things that we can do to make our instruction uh, more accessible to students. Professors use PowerPoint quite a bit. Use a plain background and a dark uh, sans serif, large font, um, so that it's readable to people uh, with visual impairments. When you hand out materials, make sure to have some available in different sizes of font as well. Simple things like don't turn your back to the class. I mean, professors unthinkingly turn around and start writing notes on the chalkboard, but just notice that when you turn your back to students, for some subset of students, that's going to make it harder for them to understand what you're saying. So if you're going to write, just write and then turn around and talk to the students. There are so many simple things we can do that really aren't time consuming at all, but that make the classroom that much more inclusive. One of the most effective ways of embracing change and getting people to be more comfortable with the ideas of, of adopting and advancing accessibility and inclusion for students with disabilities in universities is peer-to-peer -peer dialogue. And the benefit's wonderful, because it wasn't just about disability, it's about making the entire culture of the university more aware, accessible, inclusive, values of equality and citizenship. The fact that Ontario has uh, accessibility legislation is, is tremendous. It has moved the dialogue forward, it has advanced the uh, accessibility agenda.